Hi everyone, my name is Alfonso Albaisa. I'm Senior Vice President of Nissan Global Design. My name is Tai, Executive Design Director of Nissan Design. We're very excited here today because we're going to show you some of our inspiration and early thoughts while we were designing the, the Z Proto. So Tyson, can you walk me through your childhood in a sense? Uh, what yeah. were your feelings? You know, actually, my uh, motivation to be a car designer is uh, this original Z car. Then I become a member of Nissan Design. And then I was a design team in the design team of 300ZX. So Z is uh, quite a special car for me. You know, we have the same history in a sense because I also wanted to become a car designer when I first saw the, the 240. And my first trip to Japan, I was lucky enough as a young Nissan designer to probably see you working on the 300. And I myself was involved in the design of the 350. So I know as together we have a lot of shared understanding of Z. What parts did you feel you really want to, to keep for the next one? Well, um, or first, I, I was not so sure, actually. I was trying to create a new Z first. But uh, I saw many sketches from uh, London Studio, San Diego Studio. And then gradually, I was kind of persuaded. Maybe we should go back to the original one. Somehow this time, everything that we were doing together, the things that looked cool or felt fresh to me, ironically, were linking back to the very first one. So I remember the day when, when we're designing the new one, you were talking about the beauty of the line of the 240, that uh, people talk about the 240 as having a square grill. But no, no, the grill is the result of the hood and the fender creating a square hole. And I think on the new one, you really showed how we can do that in a modern context. Yeah, we, we you know, yeah, translated this rule into this new uh, proportion. Yeah. One of the most beautiful stories you told me was about when you were designing on 300, that you had some artists come and talk about the purity of form. Well, uh, yeah, that time we had a kind of a consultancy of a pure, you know, sculptural artist. I remember he was just checking the imbalance or, you know, good part of the shape, form. So I think that is reflecting on this uh, 300ZX. Actually, rule is to create a, you know, very smooth, nice shape on that we can draw a nice line. So for me, always, maybe this is Japanese design. Of course, three-dimensional shape is important, but uh, you know, this nice graphics on a nice shape, that is part of Nissan design heritage, I think. Which now makes me want to turn to the left, because as we were developing this together, I do feel that this simplicity which a little bit the 300 has is is captured in this shape where it almost looks like there is no character lines although the structure has i mean what were how did you get that kind of uh, minimalism for me this line is very very important with or without uh, somehow we are showing kind of 2020 Z. It's strong line, but still it's helping to show the modernity or relationship between other cars we are making. I think that's I like. Also, I think that line, as you mentioned, with the reverse wedge is very sensual uh, and beautiful, but also it's lowering the center of gravity that uh, I felt that it makes the car look like you're already driving it. Ah, right, right. So again, that is, uh, you know, s the original Z's kind of icon. So basically, yes, this line and this, you know, we call it the katana line. 
is helping to, to create a kind of low pale movement. Yeah. This katana is actually one of uh, these devices that kind of came out of nowhere in the process. But as you mentioned, it really has a very huge effect on the, the posture even of the... Yeah. Yes, it shows where is the cabin, then where the line goes. So it is indicating the silhouette more than the silhouette itself. I'm sure people want to know about our headlamp because the most iconic aspect of the 240 is the scoop lamp with the right. circle. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we created a different type of headlamps. First one was more horizontal to show more, you know, kind of a modern technology feeling. But uh, we recognize the kind of roundness is the key to show zenith. So we created this uh, double arch type of headlamp, yes. And of course, I think one of the, our favorite parts is the rear view and how in the digital era, you brought back your previous project, the 300. I like 300ZX, but uh, if we see it now, I mean, we can see headlamp is a kind of a halogen or kind of a old technology. Especially rear, theme itself is, is modern, but the technology itself is a kind of previous technology. So our intention is to show that kind of feeling with modern LED. <laughs> you know, signature. To be honest, we tried to create a you know, new invention like a 300ZX fast. But uh, we are lucky to create this as a result. I mean, we create a different type of genus. Then finally, everybody could un you know, agree, well, this is the right balance of modernity, genus, nissan -ness. Well, thanks, Taifan. I want to thank everybody because uh, this is a, such a once in a lifetime for any designer. And very luckily, Taifan and myself have been involved in a few Zs. But uh, to really bring the generations together and to find the best parts of each generation and take it to the next step, uh, it's been an honor. And it's been an honor to, to share with you the, the early thoughts we had and our team had on the, the Z Proto. So thank you very much. And thank you very much. See you very soon.